here's a collection of actual crimes committed by really dumb criminals. Just sit back and enjoy the insanity as we present. Stupid crime stories, you just won't believe. In 2015, a 31-year-old man and a 25-year-old woman found themselves stuck in a closet. After being trapped for two days, they decided to call 911. When police arrived, they were able to open the door and free the couple from their tiny prison. By the way, the closet was on the campus of Daytona State College in Daytona Beach, Florida. They told police that they had been chased into the closet and locked inside. Upon looking around, officers also discovered human feces and copper scouring pads on the floor. The feces is pretty self-explanatory, but scouring pads are also used as drug paraphernalia. While police did not find any drugs in the closet, they did find something very surprising. It turns out that the door could easily be opened from inside the closet. One of the officers even went inside, closed the door and let himself out with ease. They concluded that the door was never locked. The couple were both charged with trespassing. In addition, it turns out that the man was also in violation of his parole. His criminal record includes armed burglary and theft of firearms. While it is not clear why they were in the closet for two days and never attempted to open the door, one thing we do know. The jail cell will definitely be locked. In 2021, Pennsylvania state troopers pulled over to check on what they assumed were disabled vehicles on the side of the road just after midnight. They approached a silver Subaru parked in the travel lane with blinking hazard lights. No one was inside the vehicle. They also noticed that it was parked behind a rented Audi with Florida plates. After looking around, they discovered a 17-year-old male lying on the ground while attempting to hide in the woods. He was wearing a plastic work glove on his left hand and his shoes were bloody. He was also holding the keys to the Subaru and they were bloody as well. While officers were trying to figure out exactly what was going on, the teen's 19-year-old brother ran toward the car. He was wearing blood-stained clothing and carrying gloves. Police detained both individuals on the spot. An officer then searched the Audi and found a large amount of blood inside. He later said that it looked like the steering wheel had been wiped down. Upon searching the area, troopers found a dead man's body in the woods not far from the parked Audi. They could clearly see where the body had been dragged from the blood-stained car to that location. There was also a package of sanitizer wipes and a cell phone on top of the Audi. Investigators also recovered a receipt from a 7-Eleven for recent purchases of gloves and cleaning supplies. They also noticed blood in the car along with a large knife with a wooden handle on the passenger side floor. The deceased individual was a 26-year-old male with multiple stab wounds about his head, neck, upper chest, and arm. Both cars, the victim and the knife were all found within 100 feet of each other. As it turns out, the teenage brothers and the victim were all from Somerset, New Jersey. Apparently they drove 60 miles to Quakertown, Pennsylvania either to murder their victim or just to dispose of the body. Investigators were still trying to determine the circumstances of the fatal stabbing and figure out why they drove across the state line. According to police, under the law, a homicide is assumed to have happened in the place where the victim is found, unless proven otherwise. Thus, Pennsylvania law enforcement will handle the case. One officer stated that it is very difficult to kill somebody with a knife. It is often an intimate crime. You have to be within arm's length to kill with a knife and stab somebody more than once. He said this would point to evidence of specific intent. In the end, these dumb criminals thought they had checked all the boxes. They bought sanitizer wipes, drove 60 miles away and went into the woods around midnight. Yet after all that careful planning, they turn on their emergency blinkers while they try to dump a dead body. The prosecution also added charges of robbery and unlawful use of a computer, all of which are felonies. It's alleged that one of the brothers transferred $400 from the victim's phone to his own account shortly before the body was found. The two teens are charged with criminal homicide, criminal conspiracy, 
possession of an instrument of crime and tampering with evidence. In 2015, three men broke into a build a burger restaurant in Mount Morris, New York and stole a cash register. And unlike most thieves who try to avoid security cameras, these bold criminals actually stole the entire surveillance system as well. It was later discovered that they also took a large bowl of macaroni salad. When officers arrived, they noticed that the dumb crooks had made one huge mistake. They left a literal trail of evidence behind. As they ran off, the crooks had dropped parts from the stolen register along with sections of the surveillance system. Cops also found rubber gloves, loose change and a long trail of macaroni salad. According to the sheriff's office, the three men took turns eating the salad along their escape route. It didn't take officers long to locate and arrest the hungry crooks aged 35, 34, and 23. They were charged with third-degree burglary, third-degree criminal mischief and fourth-degree grand larceny. The 23-year-old also faced additional charges for criminal possession of a controlled substance. They were booked into the Livingston County Jail. Most of the stolen property has been recovered. In 2019, a 27-year-old man was carrying a pistol in his front pocket while in his Washington apartment. Why he was doing this is unclear. But the gun accidentally discharged and the bullet pierced his groin and thigh. Since he is also a 13-time convicted felon, he told his girlfriend to get rid of the gun before heading to the hospital. Once he arrived at the hospital he was sent to the operating room. And it was soon discovered that the pistol wasn't the only thing this guy had been packing. During the operation, a balloon of marijuana slipped out of his anus while a doctor was operating on the gunshot wound. Yes, you heard it right. This guy literally had a balloon of marijuana up his butt. We'll just give you a moment to let that sink in. Police had already been alerted due to the man having a gunshot wound. Officers then searched his car where they saw the bloody jeans he was wearing when he shot himself. Upon searching the pockets, they discovered a bag of meth. The officers issued an arrest warrant and the man was taken into custody. Normally, this is where we end the story. But apparently this guy wasn't quite done yet. Because as he was being processed at the County Regional Justice Center, something else happened. During a strip search, another balloon of marijuana slipped from his anus. You might need another moment after that one. While in jail, he made a number of calls to his girlfriend. He told her not to cooperate with the investigators working on his case. How do we know this? Because police were listening to his calls. He was charged with possession of a firearm, unlawful possession of meth, possession of a controlled substance in a correctional facility, and four counts of tampering with a witness. He was being held on $110,000 bail. In 2020, a 26-year-old Michigan man was in downtown St. Petersburg, Florida. It was around 1 a.m. and he was on a block with several popular bars and nightclubs. No word on how much he was drinking, but apparently it was enough for him to do the unthinkable. For some odd reason, he decided to relieve himself in public. And he chose a specific spot. A parked car. But not just any car. This daredevil urinated on a marked patrol car. It belonged to a police sergeant. His timing couldn't have been worse as the officer was walking up while the disgusting act was still taking place. As you can see in the report filed by police, the man's actions were pretty brazen. And he would not cooperate with police during questioning. He was charged with disorderly conduct for urinating in public. He was later freed from custody after a relative posted $250 cash bond. This guy even had the nerve to plead not guilty. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Our weekly videos will feature such topics as stupid crime stories, classic TV, and the real stories behind popular songs from the past and present. There will be even more categories as we continue to grow.